Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I got, I think this is part 12 or is this part 13? I think this is part 12 of the tower defense series and stuff. Uh, this is, um, you know, after we've done all the revamps and stuff for the lobby and the, um, lobby and the, uh, wave place and stuff. So in today's video, it's going to be a quick one. Simply, I'm just adding an upgrade system and stuff where you're able to upgrade units and stuff for, um, I made it so that, um, you have to pay half the amount you paid for the unit to upgrade that unit and stuff and then it'll upgrade all their stats the range minimum damage max damage uh what's the thing oh decrease the cooldown and yeah so let's go ahead and get straight into it okay so the first things first we're gonna head on over to our units folder right we're gonna open that up and then inside of each unit you're gonna want to insert a value it's gonna be a number value right so insert a number value you're gonna want to rename said value to upgrade amount this is pretty much how we're going to keep track of how many times this unit has been upgraded because obviously you want to put a cap on how many times you can upgrade a unit. So for me, I'm going to um, do three, but you guys can set it to whatever you want. So by default, um, it'll be set to zero and then we'll check on the uh, server side um, how many times it's already been upgraded. And if it hasn't went over the limit, which for me would be three, then we'll allow um, the upgrade to proceed as long as they have enough money to pay for the upgrade. So then you can just duplicate this. So control D, control D, control D. And then just um drag it into each unit each unit needs to have it so it is literally just like having the other stats we have so oh, i think i just did it. yep i did it twice by mistake so just make sure you put it inside of each unit put this inside of the samurai then i'm going to put this inside of the viking right and then boom we're done there and then we can move on to the ui so we can add the upgrade button so open up core gui find the unit info frame you're going to want to make this visible right and then i'm going to want to let me drag that over a little bit and then i'm going to want to duplicate the cell text button control d then i'm gonna drag it to the middle and then i'm going to rename this text button to upgrade upgrade text button then i'm going to set the text to upgrade up definitely have to make the button a little bit bigger so probably make it 80 by 50 yeah, something like that and then just move it to the middle and then boom, just like that, we have an upgrade text button. Then you can go ahead and set the frame to no longer make it no longer visible. And then we get into the scripting. So let's go ahead and open up the local core script. We're going to scroll down to right after the cell function right here. And then we're just going to pretty much do the same thing. You can really copy and paste to save ourselves some time. I don't know why it's still here, but we can really copy and paste to save ourselves. Oh, did I not forget to? Oh, I don't know why. I have no idea why these are, why these are here. But I'll just go ahead and delete these. You guys can just ignore these. But anyway, so we're going to go here. We can just really copy and paste. Control plus Control and C. Control V, right? And then what we're simply just going to say is instead of sell text button, we're going to say upgrade text button. Then the name of the event is going to be upgrade unit. So upgrade unit. Then um, we're still sending over the name of the unit. And then uh, we're going to make the unit frame no longer visible and stuff. So same concept. Then we're going to scroll down. This was like a bug I found and stuff. I I, I guess I copied this from the main place and stuff because there is no units frame, obviously, over here. It's just, you know, unit info frame directly. So, yeah, so we, all we got to do is just remove the units frame part from each line. So, boom, 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 and boom. It was just a small little uh, error I had figured out and stuff. So, yeah. Then we can move on to the server script, open up the core server script. You're going to want to scroll all the way down and stuff. Oh, well, not that far down. Oh, actually, yeah, no. Yeah. So down here after the cell unit function, and then you're going to press enter. You're going to say else if event type is equal to in quotation marks upgrade unit. I don't know why these, I don't know why these breakpoints are still here, but anyway, then we're going to set it up. So first things first, get the name of the unit. So unit is equal to workspace find first child arg1 right just like we did for the cell unit and then we're going to use an if statement so if player dot leader stats dot money dot value is greater than equal to in parentheses you're going to say unit dot price dot value divide that by two so pretty much if they have half what they paid for the um unit then they can upgrade now if you want to change this differently what you can do is you can you can uh, insert values into each unit. Like if you want to have a specific upgrade number and stuff for each individual unit, like, like they own ha they have their own upgrade price, then you can do that and stuff. But I'm just doing it like this. So you're gonna say this and unit dot upgrade amount dot value is 
less than then here is where you put your max i'm going to go with three so units can only be upgraded three times but you guys can set this to whatever you want then enter and then i'm going to of course increase the upgrade amount so upgrade amount dot value plus equal one right so then when it gets to three we'll no longer be able to upgrade a unit then i'm going to say player dot leader stats dot money that value of course we're going to take the money away so less than equal to in parentheses unit that price that value divide that by two then we're going to of course upgrade the unit stats so unit dot cooldown that value is less than equal to 0 0.2 just decrease it by a little then unit dot max damage dot value increase it by um i did i did this by 10 but again you guys can set these numbers to whatever you want so unit dot min damage dot value plus equal by five and then unit dot range dot value is plus equal three so we increase the range by three and then that's it let's go ahead and test to make sure this works so let's go ahead and publish and then i'm gonna go ahead and test so y'all give me one second to get into my place as always if you guys want access to any one of my scripts or models you guys can become either a channel member or a discord subscriber link to either one of those options can be found in the description highly recommend that okay so i am currently loading into my place let me show you guys and we are in the lobby okay so let's go ahead and select let's equip our units then we're going to go ahead and jump in the teleporter and then it'll take a second and then we will be teleported over momentarily and boom we are here okay so then i'm going to start the wave and then i'm going to spawn some units and stuff so that we don't die right away and then obviously i need to make some money so we're just going to let them do some damage real quick so let me drop another unit here Oh, well, I, I was trying to stop him before he got there, but it's fine. So, yeah, so just make it just make some money real quick. Okay, there we go. That's good. So if I go to Barbarian, this Barbarian right here, right? And then if I click, like, pay attention to the stat that has now. If I click the upgrade button, you guys, and then I go back, you guys will see the stats have upgraded. And you'll notice the money is also taken away in the top, right? So it's upgraded and stuff. Oh, well, we should probably round that. Probably should round that, but yeah. So then if I upgrade again... And then boom right now if i try to upgrade again you'll notice nothing has changed because we put the cap the units can only be upgraded three times and stuff so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video let's change one last thing actually so i'm gonna close that out i'm gonna close that out so let's change i want to change one thing um since i'm doing it by a decimal i want to round the cooldown so it doesn't give us that long number again so let's do let's do this we're gonna go to line 92 right here where the cooldown is and then i'm just going to say math dot round and then we're just gonna round yeah we're just gonna round it up so just control c then paste that into the math that round so we'll just round it up and stuff i don't want a long decimal stuff so i just want it to be like not 0 0.25678 no just like 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 you guys know what i'm saying so yeah if you enjoyed the video definitely like subscribe you guys already know i will continue with the tower defense series as long as you guys continue showing it love and support and yeah thank you guys for all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel really do appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching